is the Emergency Medical Minute. Recently, I had a very nice patient who spent a lot of time outdoors and came in because his feet were hurting him. He had really, really bad feet. And in particular, he had um, hit his big toe on a rock. Uh, some of you know about this case. Hit his big toe on a rock a uh, week before. And it was clear that his toenail was just kind of hanging off. There was a lot of crusted blood on there. And so we set up and did a digital block and took the toenail off. And when we um, took the toenail off, it was crawling with maggots underneath. It's very exciting. Uh, not something that we have to deal with very often. So this is more kind of just a fun medical minute about maggot therapy for wound care. Again, not something that we do very often. So in the United States, it was kind of first experimented at Johns Hopkins with, um, with maggot therapy for surgical wounds because they, didn't, they had noted with battlefield wounds that people that actually had wounds infected with maggots had a much better outcome than wounds that were not infected with maggots. So they did studies first, first published in 1929, and uh, for, for a brief time, medical uh, therapy with maggots was widely accepted, but then something changed around the 1940s that stopped that. Any ideas? Penicillin, antibiotics. So around World War II, we got antibiotics, and that started to be used more commonly for wound infections. And so for a long time, nobody was using medical maggots until they started experimenting in 1989. And if you could guess one hospital system in one geographic location that would start to experiment with maggots, what would it be? Any guesses? Jamie surely has a guess. Who, who would be bold enough? The VA, of course. So the VA in Southern California started uh, uh, experimenting with maggots. And since that time, there have been numerous medical studies done, which showed there's not a lot of evidence, but the evidence that's out there shows that wound care with maggots is essentially equivalent to the wound care that we give with you know, hyperbaric oxygen and aggressive wound debridement and antibiotics and all these other things that we do. So it is uh, starting in 2004, maggots were approved by the FDA as an official medical device. And so you can prescribe maggots if you have a prescribing license. And there are even companies that have um, uh, like uh, patented their specific brand of maggots. So the term medical maggots is actually a trademark. You can Google it. And these are sterile maggots that are used on wounds. They're mostly used for um, uh, necrotic diabetic foot ulcers and for pressure wounds. And then they can be used for traumatic wounds and surgical wounds that have poor healing as well. There are three reasons they say. So number one, the maggots um, debride the wound. They have in their saliva, they have some proteolytic enzymes that actually dissolve the necrotic tissue. And then they are said to actually sterilize the wound too and, and disinfect it from bacteria. And then they stimulate the growth of healthy tissue. So, um, you know, this guy's toe, although it looked really gross when he came in, looked fantastic after we took off the maggots. It was clean and uh, looked like it was going to heal well. So don't be freaked out next time you see the maggots. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.